Hey guys, welcome back to House Sentinel here in CK2 and we still have this huge threat of the White Walkers. Um, I mean, so far they're still being held off by the Night's Watch, but I don't know for how long because, uh, yeah, their, 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 their war, their invasion, their second invasion is in 78% favor, or yeah, 78% in favor of the White Walkers. I, and, and yeah, because they have taken over everything, it seems as though the next war they're gonna declare on is the North. And with them being at war with the Iron Throne, as well as, you know, having Lord Ramsay. Now, Lord Ramsay is fighting for Sansa's claim on the North. Interesting. And he is, he's well, he's losing, but still. Um, and so, Willis Mandalay is fighting... Just a revolt, okay, against the revolt of his rule. So yeah, he's facing some internal struggle, he's fighting the Iron Throne, and the White Walkers are threatening to attack him, so this is not the best. However, the White Walkers don't have that many men, they only have a thousand. So it's possible to, um, it's definitely possible to beat them back at the moment. But, as we can see, there's no unity within the, within the Seven Kingdoms. Uh, there's still fighting going on, so yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Um, you want me... Oh, wow, Patrick Malister is making me not only Master of Hunt, but now also the, uh, Lord Treasurer. And you know what? I think I also deserve that. I, I honestly do. I mean, we've, we've, we've helped out. I mean, we helped, more helped out Edmund Tully, but I guess, um, that, that made, uh, the Malisters look good because we're his bannermen. Anyways, I will definitely accept that. Wow, I'm very happy about this. So we're now Lord Treasurer of Seaguard and Master of Hunt, as well as obviously Commander as we have been before. So yeah, this is going very very well indeed. Um, Peter Aaron is still there. I've made Walter Frey one of my commanders um, because yeah, this is very cool. I'm happy that he arrived. He's kind of a douche, but he is definitely very skilled at arms. So uh, if we are in need of more bodyguards, I will definitely give him that title. But so far we have enough men, so that's fine. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, we could hold a tournament, not too interested, still wanna, still wanna, uh, well, buy my brothels here. Because, of course, you people uh, said that I'm that I'm a pimp now, which, yeah, I guess I am. Uh, who's Ro Lord Ronald the Bad? Uh, oh, Lord Ronald Vance. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you that I've uh, noticed over the break, Nimble Dick is the Lord of Whispers. That's, that's awesome. He is uh, of House Crab, obviously, but he's not only Lord of the Whispers, but also High Lord of Cracklap Point. Now, I don't think he does have, yeah, I don't think he has any vassals. Uh, yeah, too bad. But still, he does have that High Lordship, so he could demand uh, control over these lands, and he probably will get that eventually. Um, if I want to befriend Lord Patrick, I have to try and engage him in some interesting conversation. If I perhaps seek an audience whilst he's in his quarters, maybe even bring a fine wine, I'll be able to make him look more favorable upon me. Um, you seek an audience uh, with Lord Patrick and... Um, you know what? This is kind of... I didn't mean it in this way. Wait, this is turning out to be kind of strange. Well, let's see, let's see where this goes. Um, but yeah, uh, so I'm paying 50 bucks and that means we're friends now. Uh, Lord Patrick seemed pleased to have some company, invited you to sit and talk, discuss the fears of the realm and exchange stories, all the while drinking through the wine. At the end of the meeting, he bid you a warm farewell, inviting you back again for some, for a meeting soon. Uh, okay, so we made a good acquaintance. We'll count each other as friends soon. Well, this is good. I mean, it does make sense, you know, he is, I I'm fighting for him. I guess here's the thing, his father gave me lands, I proved to be loyal and fought for them in, in several wars. Um, then he's making me, giving me an honorary title, making me Master of Hunt. I try to befriend him and he gives me Lord Treasurer. So yeah, it's, it's working out. Uh, Master Torrance approaches you and presents to request... Oh yeah, we've had that before. You've asked this before, you have a ridiculous amount of money. I don't know where you're getting this all from. I do need the gold, I would like it. But it over, it's just going to be 10 years of less, of 50% less uh, castle tax. Don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea, so I I'm going to have to say no to this. I'm going to have to say no to this. Um, yeah, we could build something, peasant farm or economic infrastructure. Basic defenses would be good as well. That would just help out. Private farms, some more light infantry, some barracks. We kind of need that as well. Riverlander, wait, what, what was that? A royal palace, oh wow, what do we need for this? 
Is a king or an emperor? Oh, that'd be cool. Wow, that'd be really cool. I want that. Uh, I write to you with bad news from Sentinel Support. My efforts to squeeze some extra taxes have met with resistance. Oh, I see. So you want to buy it land, and then you ask, you, you tell me that you, mm, I see. So you try to cover it up that you messed up, messed up by, by trying to, to, to buy my land. Yeah, it's fine. Just do your job then. Um, Princess Asha is actually raiding. Okay. Good for you. And a daughter was born to kept of the house of God, death and sentence, and oh, okay. So, oh, but she died. Oh, that's too bad. But yeah, I'm trying to keep your houses alive, obviously. Oh, yeah, Master Torrance has actually Beth Amor. So I wonder if, she, if she's gonna inherit. Probably not. I don't think women can inherit... Um, I, I don't know. I actually don't know if they can inherit towns. I doubt it for some reason. But yeah, we'll see. Let's have a ch quick uh, quick look here at the house of Gowen in the north. Um, Dirk Butler is still ruling. And there it goes. Okay, so he lost. Ooh, the Night's Watch is gone. So now it's going to be the north. But is the north ready? Lord Paramount Hagen, you have 3,000 men. This is not enough. This is not enough. Oh, gosh. But luckily... Well, I say luckily, but hopefully the throne will be able to defend. Cold wind, 10,000 men, could be enough, maybe not. I don't know. You received words from one of your brothels that a client has been detained by your men. Really? Oh, after murdering one of the whores, you arrive to find it is Sir Walter Frey who did the deed. He's apologizing profusely and offers compensation. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, first of all, why is it showing him? Because I remember he was here before. Uh, he died quite 11 years ago. He was one of our customers, and we actually, yeah, we approved, no, he gave us 35 gold for that or something. Yeah. Um, so, he killed a whore. How did you kill a whore, Sir Walder? Arrest him. I think I'm going to arrest him. Yeah, definitely. How did you kill a whore? But you know what I'm going to do, actually? I, I, I... I wanted to have his commander, but you killing my horse, it's not it's not happening. <laughs> I, I'm ta I'm I'm gonna protect my people. You know what? If I exile them, do I get money? Um exile characters might escape with their lives, but they are forced to abdicate their titles and their wealth is confiscated. This is good. He has a hundred he has a hundred gold. So we'll do that. I'm gonna exile him. Yes, good. A hundred gold, nice. This is very nice. Yes, awesome. So this paid off. And where is he now? He is uh oh he joined the golden company. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. Good, okay, so that was very profitable indeed, 100 gold. Um, I like that. Let's see if we can change our laws again, um, because I want my nobles to give me some more some more levies, although it doesn't make, it doesn't matter that much at the moment, I think. Um, supporters undecided. Okay, so this would probably path. Yeah, I want some more money. Yeah, less levy, but uh, more money, that's good. You will keep your own levy, I, don't, I, I, I suppose. Probably, most likely. And I think, yeah, this guy has been uh, building up more. Yeah, look at this. Uh, so the uh, m m Master Torrens has been building up peasant stables. Uh, he's been building up a moat and a trade market. Wow, very good. Um, and you have approved this as well. Awesome. One day, passing by a small sept, you come upon a septon sitting and painting in a field. You observe his work and marvel at the p composition, the colors and the fine brush strokes that bring the simple canvas to life. This monk is truly an artistic prodigy. Uh, I will buy this painting. Well, if I like it so much, I suppose I will. There we go, we'll buy that. And uh, Ellery Hightower has died, okay. At uh, Wilson Seagot, I thought of a perfect idea to try and bond with Lord Patrick. If we went to a local tavern to drink and maybe befriend a lusty wench or two, we would surely become fast friends. Okay, we'll suggest that. I wonder if he's interested in that. I mean, we were both grown men and married, but... Uh, actually, I could invite him to one of my brothels. Lord Patrick seemed quite enthused by your suggestion and agreed to join you in a visit to the tavern. All the evening, you had a merry time with the local minor lords, the small folk, and a pretty tavern benches, drinking much ale and wine the process. Um, so we are improving relations once again, and we lose some piety, ah, that's fine. So we have, yeah, good acquaintance, plus 30 twice now, or plus 15 twice now, so 30 in total. Yeah, so that's awesome. 
Poachers have been seen in Seagat, so I should probably send my spy master Sir Garrett and my marshal Sir Kenrick to investigate the matter. Um, of course, eliminate the poachers. Uh, the poachers. Yes, we won't have them. We need a new commander now that Black Walder has been exiled. And I think we're gonna go and give that honor to. Hmm. Uh, Sir Ked. Yeah, you have the highest. You're a brave man. Sure. Yeah, Sir Ked Miller, you're gonna have to lead our men. Okay, we have tons of money. I guess we're gonna just go ahead and, and, and start building this castle town now. Even though it's gonna cost extra due to the winter modifier, that's probably not gonna go away for a while. So yeah, let's just start building that. So Garrett caught two young poachers in my forest with a couple of dead rabbits in their, at their belts and a live one in a snare. Deal with them yourself. Um, the law demands their death by hanging. Gain 10 prestige. Sure, we'll do that, because I'm just. I think I will do that. Yeah, I don't want you to deal with them yourselves. So can we call two of them as well? Uh, okay. Awesome, so I just gained a lot of prestige for this. So Gary tried to protest against the poacher's punishment, but it was too late. He thought I should have been more merciful. Really? Okay, interesting. Well, I, I suppose. But uh, Sir Kenrick is more... Yeah, he, he, he's, he likes us much more. He's 51 years old, though. Wow, that's very old indeed. Did we? Well, I'm also quite old already. Hmm. I thought I was born to Sir Walter and Eleanor. Uh, why do I care? Right, I still have his important character. She's not at my court, though. She's in an unknown location. And yet, your, his, his wife is still... Interesting. So, Black Walter's wife is still at my court. <laughs> I have your wife, man. He, I guess I exiled him without his wife. And now he's the heir to the crossing? Oh, what have I done? What have I done? I exiled the Lord of the Crossing. He's gonna be so mad. Yeah, he's gonna be so pissed. Oh wow, I did not... Well, uh, so far, we're being supported or we're being protected by our liege lord of House Malister, so we should be fine. Still though, that was probably not the best idea. Yeah. Black Walder is the heir to the Crossing. Oh wow. Well, I do have his wife as a hostage, so I don't think he's really gonna do anything. Um, and we have that we claim, uh, but yeah, that would mean we would be at war with the Iron Throne. I don't want that. Interesting enough, uh, Edmund Tully does not want to support Edric's son for some reason. Hmm. He is already a poor fighter. By the way, let's see if I can improve my kids. Luke, can I force you to train? Ask permission for heritage focus. Wait, why do I need to ask for that permission? Oh, Lady Chloe is the educator. Uh, okay. I see. And, oh, you're educating both of our kids. She's fuzzy. Hmm, interesting. That's fine, I suppose. So far, however, my wife has not really been all that successful as a, uh, as a, uh, justicer. Lord Harlan of Shipbreaker Bay has declared a war on... Okay, yeah, that's fine for his brother. Actually, I want my wife to move from the Green Fork over to uh, claim Stillfen because that's just closer it kind of makes more sense to actually have this under control and I successfully uh, oh collected a tithe so that's gonna be very good yeah so so Patrick uh, or Lord Patrick should like me more now um, and uh, you've done another job the peasants like me good job and you I want to depose to Edmund Tolly hmm. and uh, he has been Okay, my Septon is doing all kinds of weird things. Everything's happening to him, it seems. Good. I guess I could make Kendrick train my children. Let's actually have a quick look. Oh, wow. We now have normal winter. Mm. You know what? I want my... No, my, I think my son, three years, is a little bit too young to be trained. So we're going to wait on that. We're going to wait on that. What are the Stormlands doing here? Who are you fighting right now? You are in your civil when you're fighting the north. How's that war going, by the way? 23% in favor of the Iron Throne. Okay, what's uh, with the Reach? What's what's going on with the Reach? Willis, you're just at peace. Just a crippled, peace-loving man. Dawn is supporting the Iron Throne as well. The Westerlands, uh, at, just at peace. Just at the Riverlands. What is the Vale doing? Also at peace. So many kids. Peter, Aaron, Landel, Lannister. Wow. All right, um, okay, who's now L Lord of Farwind? Yes, 
Nice. It's not Gilbert. It's not Gilbert who's king. He is probably... Yeah, he died and then Giles died in the dungeons of Euron. So now he, this guy, kid died under suspicious circumstances. But if Farwin is king of the Iron Islands, I like that. But they are actually fighting another civil war. Uh, Harris the Knight wants to replace King Yurek, which is not him. So that's kind of strange. And also, oh wow. So he now has to fight the wars that the... Uh, that were caused by the other kings. That's that's very unfortunate. So you inherited who? Oh, man, is that was that your father? Yurik. Yeah, he was just been he's been deposed. Hmm. We've been spending countless hours sketching up plans for different building projects. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to build that tower. I don't want to build that power that tower. I don't think. Actually, we might actually want to go ahead and oh there there's the act, actually game again. Um. I think I want to change my focus, maybe. From business focus to rulership? Or family? Hmm. I will keep it for one more year, I guess. Uh, the church has just got some very beautiful stained glass. I and Master, Master Othil contemplated. Yeah, just, just improve relations. I don't really, like, want to piss anyone off, necessarily. Now, one thing that I've noticed, which is good, Old Stones is now independent again. So I'm very happy about this. Uh, so this seems to be a bug that fixes itself. So that that doesn't bother me in the least. Um, so yeah, let's see if there's a war now. Uh, if the White Walkers decide to declare war on the North, so far they're staying at peace, gathering their strength, I guess. Um, let me see, though. Word or not. Yeah, you only have 900 men. Now that is good. That is very good indeed. I hope it stays like that. Because then we might have a chance to repel them. But someone needs to replace the Night's Watch. Otherwise, this winter is just going to get worse and worse. And that obviously hurts us quite a bit. Um, hold a tournament. Now obviously the problem about the winter is that all the levies that we, that we use up, they don't get replenished as much. Whereas the White Walkers get troops via the events. So... I don't know. I mean, this could potentially be a problem depending on how long these wars continue. 8,000 men, it, it definitely has shrunken. And Morton Wainwood is the huh, regent, okay. And you declared another war, okay, over Greenfield. The Dornish, do you, are you telling me the Dornish are, oh, they're probably fighting the north just, yeah, they're not fighting, mm, they're not fighting the, the, the White Walkers, right. Obviously, I keep forgetting. Okay, who is now the king? Who's king of the Iron Islands? Asha Greyjoy. Oh, wow. Very cool, very cool. So, who do I have? The Thormor Ironmaker. Don't need him anymore. And, I guess, Maker Buckler. Don't need him anymore. Because now we have Theo Buckler as ruler. I could offer to join his war. Um, Don't think I'm interested. Um, more charity work. Very good. Yeah, you're just keeping up piety up there. I like it. Um, okay, Jamin Coldwine is still, or Coldwin, still ruling. Awesome. How's my wife doing? Chloe. Uh, Alright. Her brother only has daughters. Delena Shet. Marcella Shet. Ah, they could actually marry as well. Hmm. Uh, do all of my courtiers have m married? I don't know. I guess so. Uh, Lady Ly Lysa Bl Tali. Okay, right. Dickon, Dickon had a son, Mark, but he died stillborn. And now Lady Lysa is ruling. And Semble Tali died in a battle against a White Walker. Oh, poor guy. Poor guy, indeed. And my wife is pregnant again. Very nice. So our third kid. I'm thinking it's going to be another son. I think it's going to be another son. And uh, I don't actually... I have not really come up with a name just yet. We'll see. I mean... I, I, I usually like the names that the game comes up with. I, I usually like them, but we'll see. Uh, I don't actually have anything in particular that I want my son to be named. But... Maybe another mark? I don't know. I don't know. 
But I think on that note, I will end this episode as well. So things are looking good in a sense as the wars are coming to a close and they have to because the White Walker threat is imminent indeed. Um, but yeah, so far things are doing quite well. We have not yet. We're about to finish our uh, castle castle town here. So that means once we uh, save a little bit more, actually no, as soon as that's done, we can actually start building the brothel right away. And that's going to be very cool. So we're going to be making much more money. Anyways, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time.